dearest Lacey, I have been called to you. We have been called together, not just by fate, but by God. He has a bigger plan for us. These are your beautiful words from your beautiful heart, which you, which are so true and real. Because of God's hand and divine leadership, here we are the night before we get married. Always, always know I choose you every day not because of duty and obligation, but because I have also been called to you. I truly believe, I truly believe this. With this calling brings a wonderful purpose, a commitment, a covenant, and a lifetime of true love. What a blessing we have to share and always appreciate. A blessing for our children and our children's children. So let's do this. We have taken the long way to each other, but we are here now. This letter is just for you, baby. I love you, and I am so thankful to call you my wife, my best friend. John 15, 15, true intimacy. I have called you friends. True friendship is rare on earth. It means identifying with someone in thought, heart, and spirit. I love you. Love, CT. CT, oh my sweet boy, the day is here. We have dreamed about this ever since our first date, the moment we saw each other. We knew something special was happening, and every moment has been a magical dream come true. You are the most kind, passionate, inspirational person I have ever met, and I get to marry you. Words cannot describe how excited I am for every stage of life, big or small, all because I have you by my side. You have, a, you have been my best friend, defender, spiritual leader, and ultimately the love of my life. God answered all my prayers with you. He created us to find each other. In His time, we may have known each other for over 20 years, but His plan is always bigger. This love we have will inspire generations to come, all because it was created in His eyes. CT, I can't wait to see you and call you my husband. I love you. I love you. Love, Lacey. to have you as our son-in-law wish you the very best <laughs> I'm counting on you chasing cows and fixing fences and getting hay up you know you can count on us we wish you the best I know for as long as Debbie and I have known Lacey uh, we can't ask anybody. Can't ask anybody. So, welcome to the family. If y'all need anything, like I told you, we'll phone call. God bless you. And from the beginning, Nate has always said, I can't live up to what he does for Lacey. <laughs> 
baby sister, but she does. She deserves all the romance, all the rose petals spelled out that say I love you, all the notes hidden all over the house, all the little romantic gestures. For the way she looks at you, I've never seen her look at anyone like that before. Swooning is the only word I can like describe it because even however long later since you guys have known each other, she still looks at you that way. You can be across the field in chaps and she's like, look at him. <laughs> but anyway, we're very happy for you guys and we wish you a lifetime of happiness and we can't wait to spend it all with you. We love you. Cheers. I hope it's okay that I say a couple words to for two of the most important people in my life. Lacey is so special to me because she just brightens, brightens up every room that she walks into with her laughter and by truly being a friend to everyone that she meets, whether she just met them or she's known them for five years. And then there's CT, uh, one of the most noble, hardworking, and humble people I've ever gotten the chance to meet. And I am so grateful that you walked into Lacey's life and brought out even more of the joy that we all love so much about her. Um, I pray that you guys will always have the courage and tenacity to protect that love that you have. And I pray that all God's blessings go with you on this journey. I love you guys so much. Lacey, you have an outstanding Marine. And I wish y'all many, many years of happiness and love. God bless you.